by popular request, including an email, I'm going to show you how to downgrade Spotify to make it have the old look on macOS. Now, mind you, I am using a Hreshen macOS, which is a little janky, but the process is still the same for you normal Mac users. So to start off, you need to uninstall Spotify. I'm assuming that you already have Spotify installed. So we're going to need to go through a couple of folders. Well, actually, not even a folder. We just need to go through the application folder and uninstall it. So go to Finder, then go to Applications, go to Spotify, right-click on it, and move it to Trash. Before you do that, you may actually have to, you know, quit Spotify. But once you do that, move it to the Trash, and empty out the Trash for good measure. Now, next up, you want to open up Safari. And you want to go to the first link in the description. It will be spotify.en.uptodown.com, blah, 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 Mac versions. It's basically, it's a repository of a whole bunch of archived versions of Spotify. We specifically want to download the December 1st version, which is 1.1.47. I already have it downloaded because that's how prepared I am for this. So once you download it, you need to double click on it and open it up. And what it's actually doing is mounting a virtual drive. And all you need to do to install it is just drag Spotify into the applications folder. Now, once it's done, you can close off of this folder and keep the drive open because we will need it for later, 100%. Next thing you wanna do is you either wanna to go to Launchpad or Finder and you want to open up Spotify again. Now you might get a little prompt saying, Spotify's an app download from the internet, just press yes, it's completely okay. And once it opens up, you will notice that nothing changed. The main thing we're looking for is we want to first click on Spotify, then go to the top left and click on Spotify, then about Spotify. We want to make sure that it is version 1.1.47.684. If you see that, that's perfect. That means we're going in the right direction. Counterintuitively, we actually need to update it. So it says a new version of Spotify is available. We need to click here to download. So what we need to do next is we need to, first off, keep Spotify open. And we need to go to Finder, click on Go, then press and hold the Options key, and click on Library. So once you do that, it'll pop up with a whole bunch of folders. We specifically need to go to Application Support then Spotify, and you'll see this little prefs file, which will be important later, but we need to go to Persistent Cache, and you will see an update folder. We need to open that up, go inside, and delete all of the contents, so move it to Trash. Then we need to go back, click on the Update folder, then right-click it, click Get Info. Once you do that, it'll pop up this little thing on the left. We want to go down to the very bottom, and it says Sharing and Permissions. We want to expand that. Now, once you expand it, you will see these permissions. You want to make sure that every single one says Read Only. So make sure it's Read Only for your account, staff, and everyone. Then move up and click the Locked checkbox so that the folder is locked. Basically, what we're doing here is we're preventing Spotify from writing to the Update folder, which will make the updates fail, which keeps it at the same version that we downloaded it as. Now, once you've done that, the unfortunate side effect is that no matter what, you have to restart Spotify, and it will restart as the new version, despite us removing the contents of the update folder. So just close Spotify, and once it closes, we want to open it back up using a launch pad, or literally any other method. And now once it opens up, just to validate that you are on the right step, you need to go to the top left, click on Spotify, and click About Spotify, and you will see it is now updated to 1.1.59. We need to redo the process of uninstalling Spotify and reinstalling the older version just so we have that specific update folder locked before we do anything else. So to do that, we need to go to Finder one more time, go to Applications, make sure you close Spotify. Then once Spotify closes, just click on Spotify, right-click it, and click Move to Trash. Clear the trash bin for good measure. And once you do that, all you need to do is click on the Spotify drive that's on your desktop then drag Spotify into the Applications folder. Now, once you drag it over and install it, you need to close off on this. And this time, you can eject the Spotify disk drive that it's imitating. And we want to open up Spotify. Make sure to press Open when it asks if you still want to open it. And once you open it up, it'll still look like the new UI. All we need to do to double check that we're on the right track is go back up to the Spotify in the top left, click About Spotify, and you should see version 1.1.47. If you see version 1.1.47, you are on the right track. All we need to do is go back to that weird folder I was talking about. So to do that, all we need to do is click on the desktop, then go to the Go button at the very top, hold the Options key, click on Library, then open up the Application Support folder, scroll down to Spotify and open it up, and we want to check the persistent cache just to make sure that the folder is still locked. So open it up, and you see that the Update folder is now locked, which is a great sign. 
So the next thing we want to do is we want to actually edit this preps file. But before we do that, there are a couple of things I just want to quickly go over just in case you get stuck at any point. If you want to change the language of Spotify or any of these settings, I would recommend you doing it right now. Pause the video and do it because once you change the preps file and we do our little process on it, you won't be able to change the language. And I'm not sure about the settings, but you may not be able to change some of the settings like explicit content, streaming quality. So change all of this before you continue on. And once you change the settings, all you need to do is go back to the finder, which we minimized, go to the preps folder. You need to open it up with text edit. So once you open up the preps file, you just need to scroll down to the very bottom. I hit all the information above because it is sensitive. It does pertain to your account. Anyways, moving on, all you need to do is go into the description and you will see a little bit of code and you need to paste it into the preps file. The code itself is ui.experience underscore override equals classic. Um, I'll have it in the description labeled as Spotify preps file code. And all you need to do is you just need to copy and paste it into your preps file. Then you need to go to the top left, click file, then click save. And once you save it, you can close off it. All you need to do is right click on preps and you need to click get info. And you need to go to the left and go towards the very bottom. And you want to make it so that all of these privileges are just read only. So click on read and write and click read only and make sure every single one says read only. And once it does, you can close off of this. And now your preps file is saved. Now, once you fully messed around with the preps file, all you need to do is close Spotify. And once Spotify closes, all you need to do is open it back up with a launch pad. And you'll notice that Spotify opens up to its nice old look that we're all super familiar with. Now, let's say Spotify releases an update that's, you know, important or does something good or, you know, is actually an update, not a down date, if that makes any sense. It, it doesn't make any sense. Anywho, moving on to undo all these changes so you can update Spotify. All you need to do is first off, click on your desktop, then click go, then hold alt, click library. It'll pop up with this folder. Go to application support, go to Spotify, go to persistent cache right click on the updates folder click get info then you need to uncheck locked then you need to make it so that your read only privilege for your user account is set to read and write then close off of that then go back into finder then right click on your press file click get info then go to the bottom and make sure it says read and write and once it says that all you need to do is go into spotify click on the top left, click about Spotify, then download the latest update. And once you download the newest update, assuming that Spotify makes a good change or you just wanna go back to normal, just press restart to install and it will install the newest version of Spotify. And I'll verify that by going back into Spotify, going to the top left, clicking about Spotify, then looking at the version number and seeing that it is the most up-to-date version 1.1.59. So that's how you get the old Spotify UI back. Now, mind you, you are on an older version of Spotify, so any new features that roll out that you might want, you will need to uninstall this patch slash fix thing that we made, which I already showed you how to uninstall it, and that will allow you to update it and get to the newest version. Now, if it helped you out, I'm super glad to hear that. If it didn't help you out, though, feel free to let me know. I'll try my hardest in helping you out. You can either throw it in the comments, go on our Discord, and go into the help channel and just ask around. I will try my hardest, but I'm not a Mac OS wizard. Uh, my Windows computer can barely run Mac, so my experience is very limited, but I'll try my hardest. Anyways, have a fantastic one. Hopefully this helped. Love you. Mwah.